Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your next session of Group Therapy. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And I'm the Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we got a special guest joining us in, at the blue table today. A very close friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you put your hands together and welcome my boy, Darnell's in the building. Hey. All right. My first and maybe my last time on this one. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, brother. We're going to get right into it. We ain't going to waste a lot of time. So, everybody ready to do it? Yep, let's Look, do it. Ready to do it. All right. Without further ado, <laughs> let's get to it. One thing we're talking about with leaders is if you go to group therapy, and this is something that I emphasize, no two group leaders are necessarily going to lead group in the same way. All right, we're going to go with polygamy versus monogamy. Hmm. Where do you stand on it? Whoa. All right, so that's okay. that's where we're going to go with it. Okay. All right, okay. so let me let me just kind of pitch this one over the fence and let's see where we go with it. Okay. All right, just we'll, we'll see how we're going to go and wherever it goes, it just goes. Hmm. We good? Yeah. I'm good. Are you yeah, good, Michelle? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I see the wheels spinning. Yeah, I see the wheels spinning. You gotta understand this one. Yeah. We on something for real. So, yeah, I'm ready. A lot of shots is gonna be fine. Yeah. All right. right. <laughs> so, what I wanna what I wanna know is, as far as polygamy versus monogamy, first and foremost, let's just uh take a quick second, and then we can go, you know, straight into the battleground and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, where does everybody stand? when it comes to polygamy versus monogamy. Now, we're not gonna get into sexes right off the bat. We just wanna know the overall theme of it. Where do you stand? Are you for it or are you against it? I'm for it. Okay. What you got over there, Donna? For me, uh -huh. personally, I'm against that shit. For, for me. Right. Okay. I, I got my reasons why, but I... I Okay, we gonna get to it. Hell, fuck no. I'm gonna tell you why too. What you got over there, truth seeker? I got mixed feelings because it depends on where you at in the world. It depends on what location of the, you know, what continent, what, what, what nation, what. <laughs> I tell you, this, 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 this why we got to This him. is a political question that. It's, you, it's, I'm, I'm all over the place with it, but... But brother, where, where for you? Yeah. Right now, for where I'm at, in the U.S. of A, I'm for monogamy. Right. You're for monogamy. Yes, sir. Damn, I'm outnumbered. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit against... I'm, I'm not against polygamy in the general sense of what it was for, or what it stands, what, what, you know, why humans used it. But... While we, if I'm gonna be here, it de like I said, it depends on where you are in the country, in the world, and if we're here in the U.S., I would say I'm against. I'm against. I'm not. I'm not pro polygamy in the U.S.A. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with that. One. <laughs> <laughs> if this was, if this was caveman days, I'd be for it. But why caveman? As long as these motherfuckers exist, oh, man. <laughs> I got motherfuckers on the phone. I don't even want to pick up for it. If I got six motherfuckers trying to call me up on some bullshit, right, right. If look, the caveman day, the men they go out, they they kill the food, they bring the food home. Y'all motherfuckers cook it. You come get it when it's time to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm for it. But now. Where you at? When you coming home? What you? What, what we doing today? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting right in this motherfucking house watching football. <laughs> <laughs> and time six, time seven. Fuck no. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm. I gotta say I'm for it. If I gotta pick one way or the other, I gotta say I'm for it. Okay. I'm not okay. practicing, obviously, but I'm for it. <clears throat> I, I gotta say I'm so for it. You for it in the sense for it that you're saying in this country that you live in today that you would make it a law for it to happen? I'm, I'm not gonna play semantics. I, I'm, I'm not gonna play. Well, if I'm here, I'm for it. If I'm not, I'm not. Nah, uh, me. So you, for regardless of where I am, all over the world, you don't matter. It doesn't matter where you at. This is your stance. This is my stance. It, it doesn't matter where I'm at. I see. You think it works? It, it works better 
in society as a as a as a nation, you know, mm. uh, in a political sense, in an economic sense, in a social sense. Absolutely. Okay, I want to dig all that talk. Okay, we will. Anybody else want to pipe in first? Because you y'all know I'll take it and run with it. I don't want to change nobody else's opinion. So, well, I I think it can work. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when you're talking about the the disproportionate ratio, quote unquote, of men to women. Mm -hmm. So you know, there are obviously more men women than are men. Right. So there's going to be a situation where you know they're going to be a, a whole a lot of women who were just kept off. You know, kept outside the box because they don't. You know, just not enough people to pair up with. So, sure. from that perspective, I, I can see it working. But you know, like I said, th th there's got to be a, a change in mindset, especially mm -hmm. here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's yeah because right. because we were all one man, one woman. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, you probably gonna get really deep. <laughs> oh my god! But, you mm -hmm. see him smiling. Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my, my cute. That's my cute. Let me go to my paperwork. Let's do the rod in the sixteens. Let's go. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I even say Jesus right now? Whatever you want to say. Not with this stuff over here. Yeah. I ain't say no King James version. Or nothing. He done pulled out the Dead Sea Look, Scrolls. He got, he got every <laughs> book and every motherfucker you want to bow your head to. <laughs> what he do? He got Nagamati text. <laughs> Golly, yeah. man. Okay. Mm. All right. So. Alright. <laughs> so, wow. Alright, so Michelle, okay, do you wanna go first or should I go get it? What do you wanna do? <laughs> well, oh, the way man. I look at it is, you know, you have to know who you're dealing with. You have to know the people and they all have to respect boundaries. Mm -hmm. And sometimes women can be really territorial and they be in their feelings and boundaries is slim for them. Mm -hmm. But you have to be really open-minded. So you just can't go out here and just pick, oh, I like this chick. But you got to understand a mind frame in order mm -hmm. to handle That's a lot. That's a lot to handle when you're doing a, a polygamy relationship, you know. Insecurities and, you know, he's spending more time with you and then me and all that stuff. But when you get past that pettiness and really see the real focus that you're trying to do, I think it can work. Mm. I think it can. I know. Why do you think it can't work? Why it can't work? Mm -hmm. From a man's perspective, now, too much, too many goddamn headaches. Too many headaches, especially if we're dealing with the modern woman <laughs> <laughs> and and the level of attention that you have to give. I mean, you would have to have specific time slots where everybody gets, you know, mm -hmm. just, just like you mentioned, mm -hmm. women are very adversarial. They're mm -hmm. very, you know, mm -hmm. and so. If I'm spending more time with one than the other, then I, I, I can see what I can get out of hand. But I don't, mm -mm, that shit for me, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't do it. I like coming home. I like my damn space. Like some peace. Like, yeah, I like my peace. Mm -hmm. And you, you coming inside that door, and you got five or six people rushing you at the same time, mm -hmm. and you gotta, you gotta sit there it's like. How was your day today? How was your day? Today? But why I gotta be five? You just can be two. Two, two, shit. That's too, too small, too many for me. <laughs> <laughs> two is too many for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I've. That's why I've, I've never been, not to go off subject, but mm -hmm. I've never had a stable of women. Mm -hmm. Like, I've mm -hmm. never been a player, player. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, but, 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 but I've never been able to. <laughs> we don't keep receipts here. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never been able to successfully sustain a stable of women. That's because I, they always want more, and mm. <laughs> she wants more. She wants more. She wants more, and I don't have more to give. Mm. And so, if you live very with well women, put, and if you living with them on a date, I don't. I don't. There's not enough for me to go around. Mm. There's not. And Even I don't if care. you prioritize it, like, you know, you have a schedule or something like that. I can't do it. Really? Mm -mm. I can't do it. There's, there's more times than not that I come home and I don't want to speak to a, a, no one. I come home and I, this has literally been like a whole week straight outside of work. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to no one. I come in my house and I'm talking to myself. I'm like, I'm not, I can't, I don't have that level of commitment. <laughs> 
to be able to put my energy in all of these people. Okay. Well, and see, now that that's my thing. What? See, what if you what if you had your place organized to where your the the woman who was the the lead woman, so to speak, I don't even know what the terminology would be. She understood how to run and manage things mm -hmm. so that when you're on your way home, you can give her that 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 understanding or that mindset, look, I, I don't feel like dealing with nobody, mm -hmm. including you. You know I love all y'all, but okay. just not today. Leave me alone. And she say, okay, I got you, um, husband or whatever. Oh, they and, should all know that. And then she makes sure that everybody gives you your peace. Yeah. Or you, like... Okay. So you, you know what I'm saying? So like she, she's a, she's a vice president. She's the she, madam. Yeah, they, the right, madam. Okay, we can say the madam, of, but of, of, of the stable. Well, because. <laughs> I <found> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you thought it was gone. Who's who's that, song is that? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> Introduction to that to me. Uh, All right, but boy. here's an interesting thing that just popped in my mind. Like why? <laughs> Why, why, like you. why would anybody want to do it? Now, now, I'm not saying why is you, you shouldn't do it, but right. what's what's the point? Yeah. Like why is why is why would one want to do it? To answer your question, <laughs> so you you pose the question, Donnell. You know why would somebody want to do it? So for me, what I'm thinking is it allows um, the load to be lightened across. Uh, a greater plane of individuals you know you know we we know about uh psi or pounds per square inch it's kind of the same thing within relationships rather than all the stress being on one or two people you can spread it out over a group you know you can accomplish more if there's more people in it even when it comes to to rearing children you know everybody uses the same statement it takes a village well if you literally have the village in your crib then you ain't got to worry about whether the neighbors are checking up on your kids. You got other people in there helping you out. You got, if everybody has the same mindset, say it's not on you if it's the male to women side, it's not on you to just be the only breadwinner. Say you're in a relationship with say five and all six of y'all are working. Well, that's six incomes that's coming into a house. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, the mortgage, the, the electric bill, the heating bill, the cars, all that. You got six people paying for bills when before you have two paying for all the bills plus any kids that's being reared. So for me, I could see the benefit of it if you're going to talk about, okay, if we can all uh, coexist under the same roof, there's a level of organizational stress relief, so to speak, if you're able to run it like a corporation. You know, you can't have anarchy in the crib. You can't have everybody. You can't have the wild, wild west. Uh -uh. Because that's when that runs in. That runs into, okay, he's banging the hell out of them, them hams back there in the back room. And I'm sitting here watching TV. The game don't win off, so I ain't got nothing else to watch. But all I can hear is that headboard and, ow, 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 ow. And then she come in and ask me, am I all right? No, nah, nigga, I am not all right. I just, I heard all that. Right, right. Like, you was not screaming like but that see, for me yesterday. But your mind shouldn't be thinking like right, that. Right, it shouldn't. And and that's what I'm saying. You got to, like, like you were saying, mm -hmm. you got to be able to be in a type of uh, relationship and in a mindset that it's not just an emotional relationship. Mm -hmm. It's a business, mm -hmm. you know, and your relationship is based on being in a business. Right. So once you can accomplish that, and um, that becomes a thing for you and everybody else, then I think things can run very, very smoothly. Mm -hmm. But that territorialness and that jealousy, it got to go. Yeah. And it has to yeah. go across the board. And that yep. is not an easy th easy no, ask. No, it's not. It is not but an easy ask. you have to be ask. secure with yourself. You have to be secure with yourself and kind of really know what your boundaries is before you just say, you know, I mean, because jealousy is a big word. I don't, I, I don't like when people say they jealous of somebody. I, if I wanted, I could get it. If I wanted, I could probably have it if I wanted it. But jealousy, that, that's that's crazy to me because I'm not going to be jealous of nobody. Like, right. why would I be? It's no, it's no room to be jealous when I can be great myself. Right. So, you know, you only doing yourself a disservice. You know, you not even give yourself enough credit 
to kind of be better if that's how you want to look at it. But, you know, you got to just take a lot of things out to me. You just have to, you have to have an open mind for real. And once you open open your mind up and not think about the boundaries and what everybody else thinks, you know, you don't know how successful things can be. Right, right, right. Well, I, I, I like where you went. Not, not to cut you off, but I, no, I like I like where you went okay. when you talk about being able to sustain, like economically mm-hmm. s- sustain, mm-hmm. you know, a, a family. So now you got not only do you just you've got one, you've got multiple people holding down and mm-hmm. holding down a house. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So because we all know two is better than one. Yeah. Shit, three is better than two. Four mm-hmm. is better than three. And so. And especially when you're dealing with kids, now you're talking about, you know, you're, ba- you're able to build some sort of economic sustainability between everyone. Yeah. The pot grows bigger, mm-hmm. you know, and with that pot, there's more power that you have with, you know, the, the type of money that you're able to But it's a butt in there. Mm-hmm. Say again? It's a butt in there. A butt, okay. Because then you got to think about what it's going to do for the kids mentally yeah. to mm-hmm. see something like that. I think it'd be great for the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As long so. as you can set up the same, the same hierarchical system within the kids. Now, if all the kids can understand that they're all on the same level, then you're great. But the second you start treating one of your wives' right. kids different than another, that's gonna be the problem. You're fucked. I mean, but again, that goes to your ability to make sure that everybody understands that that's territorial okay. yep. and jealousy is not allowed. Yep. That's even with the next generation. So if I have a kid with her first and then I have these kids next, I love all of y'all the same. You're all on the same level. Now there's a hierarchy between y'all, the same hierarchy that's with all of us. If you're the firstborn, you're the first kid. Right. Don't matter which mother you came from. Right. Like your mother doesn't make you any better than anybody else. What makes you higher is you're the firstborn mm-hmm. or you're the middle child. But that's your place because that's where you were born. So you you gotta be, regardless if it's a man led polyamorous relationship or a woman led, you got to be the strong one in a relationship to be able to set those goals and boundaries, and you got to like you. And this goes back to what Donnell saying. It's gonna take a hell of a lot of stress on you to maintain it, because them them feelings are gonna creep in, those feelings of inadequacies, those feelings of well. I know I'm not jealous, but he was spending a little bit more time with with who he called Junior more than he was my kid. And the second them kids come in, now you got a problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you, you got to be strong. Yeah. You, you got to be strong. Right. And you got to be stable. And you got to be, you, you got to be able to put the hammer down. Yeah. yeah. Literally and figuratively. Because yeah, if you the yeah. dude, you better put the hammer yeah, down. God I mean, <laughs> Don't be five minutes with one. Oh yeah, you, with you better put that oh, hammer down. Be like this. Oh, yeah. you owe me ten minutes. Like, wait a minute. Mm-mm. Either that or get you like three or four freaky women that like each other. Then you be like, Whoo. oh, nah, nah. <coughs> nah. If you get something like that, then we'll be bad. Bullet dodged. Word. Got all the women. How does that work though? In polyamorous relationships, dude. Does everybody have to still be? Can I just? Have them all in one bed and fuck them all at the time. It depends. It depends. It depends. Some of them are like that. Mm -hmm. Some of them are like that where the women, there might be one or two groups of women that like each other so much that they'd like Mm -hmm. to go at it. And some of them are like, look, Mm -hmm. I want my time when I want Mm -hmm. my time. And when it's her time, it's her time. And some are like, you know, we can share the bed sometimes, but we share, we don't touch each other, but we can Mm -hmm. both touch you at the same time. It just depends on what you get. Cause, cause, cause I feel that could be, <laughs> cause like I said, we're talking about the perfect scenario. If yeah, it runs like a corporation, right. if there's no egos involved, if yeah, absolutely sunshine and rainbows. Like my man yeah. Keith Murray said, if if, you, if it was a split, we'd be all fucked up. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> so, come on, we know it ain't. It, it's never gonna happen. Yeah. So so all right. What well, happened for for some of the Amish? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say something. Go ahead. 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 Go 
<laughs> you messed him up with that one. about fucking. Two hit the quitters, man. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, look. <laughs> what? <laughs> can't even get on. You fucked that up with that one. Yeah, you did. Uh, well, I, I, look. For, for me, I, I can't do it. Like, I'm not saying that. Because you said something interesting earlier. Everybody brings their special talents to the table. One man, like in your instance, one man may be a provider. The other man may be the that dude. May, mm-hmm. One man just, mm-hmm. you know. I, I, I think... Might be Bob the Builder. Yeah, I, I think that <laughs> every woman can provide a special level of of, uh, of asset to you. Mm-hmm. But do you want to deal with the medics? But what would be the headaches? The if it's the headaches. But if mm-hmm. you all have an under understanding it shouldn't be really a headache but you have to pick the right ones you just can't go and grab Look. you know hold on what you got true he man, ready so, yeah man he, he been patiently waiting though so we gotta give his props on that so um get out the candy man what's up I know I'm peeling I'm trying to get this in my mouth. <laughs> what's up so <laughs> Polygamy didn't start in the Western Hemisphere, first of all. It started in mostly the Eastern nations that we call, you know, the African nations and the Middle East nations and mostly Eastern Europe, Eastern Asia, and Western Asia, most of those regions of the world. We're here in the Western world looking through, you know, looking through the eyes of the Eurocentric mindset. So, you know, um, speaking English, the way we dress, the way we act politically, you know, democracy, Republican, all of that is from Western Europe that came into our nation today. We call it US of A. We got Canada, US, and most of the Latin countries, Central South America, the Caribbean out. And these tre- th- this polygamy called polyamorous now, all of this comes from these nations that were, it was necessary to do it, like in certain times of war when men weren't around most of the men went to war they went off to fight so you you had less men to share within the you know the, the female counterparts that was left behind after the men died right mm-hmm. so those were the, one of the top reasons why you have polygamy in these nations another one is the king or the emperor or the the, 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 the um the head the lord you know, of that, that kingdom, I guess you want to call it, mm-hmm. or empire. It was more of a, um, like we had another show, we talked about who's considered to be the whore, you know, is it the, the, the female or the male? You know, can can women be <laughs> trying? Be called whores? <laughs> Not to reel you back the in there, the, rainbow yeah, bass. Was a, mm. Let's it go. Was, it was a pleasure for the men to have the women, multiple women, mm-hmm. as. In a, uh, in a polyamorous relationship. It wasn't a female's perspective of having a polyamorous relationship. I know you're gonna get into me and you're gonna stress, mm-hmm. you're gonna knock me out. Okay. But, um, so, you know, to me, a lot of this is gonna reverse, it's, it's, it's mis, you know, uh, misand, how you say it, misandry? Uh, misogyny? No, misandry, right? Mis- misandry is the suppressing of men or hating men. Is that, is, am I saying the right word? I think it's getting the sand. You're the truth seeker. What'd you say, yeah. black woman? What'd you say about this? The sand. M-I-S-A-N-D. What'd you say about my mama? So, a lot of this stuff is like suppressive to the opposite sex. Okay. Because males looking at it, I want to dominate to have multiple women and that's like a treat. After I rule this kingdom, I slaughtered yeah. all of these people. I brought back the bacon. Conquest. I conquered. So I'm mm-hmm. all those when they get paid. Right. <laughs> so on a Friday. You were. I want to have all these chicks, you know, in their in their reach to be banging. And, but a lot of the, uh, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is these theocratic, uh, the, the, theocratic nations that still exist today, which are a lot of Middle Eastern nations, you know, with Islam and a lot of... Um, you know, African nations today, still, they still practice this. And the opposite of what's going on here is you guys were saying all these women should be in this, 
you know, when, when, we, when we see it in the Western world, we see all these people in the same house. Over there, they got different houses that they go to and they're married to all these chicks. Like that is a thing in a lot of right. African nations. Uh -huh. So it's not a it's not a confusion, it's not a oh you did more you spent more time with you know Umfufu over there, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah, house. but that's more of a yeah, that's more of a concubine type situation, right? No, they still having like wives. They got a hit. Okay. They have, huh? Mm -hmm. Say what? It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's it is it's, set up that way as well. Right, and they have Wait, different hit, houses. Yeah, yeah, and they have uh -huh. different houses. Okay. And um, the man just visits. It's just like three, or four houses. But there's an energy that, like, the gentleman was saying that about men here in the U.S., especially women, are going to have this jealousy thing going on. In the U.S., it's like, oh, why you two spend too much time over there? You know, well, it's I crazy. think you should get involved. So the psychology has to change first if we're going to introduce it in a mass scale in the U.S. In my opinion, or in the Western nations, you know, English-speaking Western nations. Okay, but you do realize that being in as America is, it's all about equality for both sexes. And that's what I'm saying. That mentality would have to change. If polygamy is going to be the dominant social behavior right but then would you be willing to accept polygamy being widespread for both sides mm -hmm. because what you were just now preaching yeah i see the shaking right ah, nigga. He, he no a man. right right and that's that's what you were just now preaching and that's the route you were going no, down there you can't, uh, you can't. Sperm, we predict the gender of the next generation that may be and true, a, but that doesn't make sense. behind the <laughs> <laughs> other way. Mm. <laughs> because he, he just want to put us under the bus so bad, but no, you no, no, just no, run no. out so freely. I'm not saying that a woman is. Ooh, I'm glad my man. headache's gone. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you're less than, you know. Uh, 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 um, ooh, ooh. He almost ooh. said it. <laughs> you, you about to step on the landmine, dog. Don't do it. I'm saying, I'm do not, it with my buttons. I'm saying, I ain't used these buttons in about three shows, boy. I'm about to get the. Hold on. <laughs> what? Uh, mm. I am not trying to say. Okay. That a woman is less than a man's uh, necessity of everyday needs and mm -hmm. for a family. I'm not saying that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. okay. You were not saying. That's right. Why you were saying it? No, I was, I was, that's what I was, I, I was saying earlier, I am not trying to say that. Mm. Not that, trying, gotcha. Well, right. I'm not right. saying that at all. <laughs> I don't, I don't. You brought it up on your right. own, but you weren't trying to say it. No, I'm, gotcha. bringing, it, I'm, I'm bringing it up because I don't want people to think that, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I would turn the fan on because it's getting hot in here, dog. That's all I was trying to do. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> Keep a digging, keep needs, digging your well there. Is, <laughs> a woman's needs, the man needs are, are equally yoked in the sense of raising a family, building a family. You know what I'm saying? You need all that. <laughs> you seen that? But if a woman's need, a woman's needs, she needs to be in the kitchen. She needs to be. I didn't say all that now. She, she needs to be. <laughs> did anybody <laughs> else see Fred Astaire in the room, boy? He was dancing. He was dancing. We basically said we have a certain place no, no, no. that we Every, need to be. No, listen. Naturally, we're born with certain, you know, body parts. Men and females have certain right. body parts that's mm -hmm. necessary to nurture the child. I can't breastfeed a child. That's what a woman does. That's naturally your your you born with. But you can buy milk in the store the and still breast and feed the baby. See that? that see, you know, <laughs> the baby, you know that's the point. That's. The, <laughs> 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 I don't. <laughs> I definitely keep that in mind for the next one. <laughs> Jesus. See, I'm, I'm I'm a little old school with all of this. Yeah. Formulas well, okay. and all going to the store for, for for stuff that you can breastfeed a child naturally. I don't understand why you need it. Why why automatically you? You think did leave your knife in the car, right? No, I got it with me. I will never. I never. Somebody get stabbed today. <laughs> you better chill out, dog. But, I mean, but finish your story. I'm I not. I'm this. not into this. Um, you know. Uh, what I'm saying, right? Where are we going, Alice? Because we're down a rabbit hole, and I don't even know where we're you coming out the other side. Can't even come out how, where's the polygamy and the monogamy on this? Yeah, let's get back to that. So. Yeah, please, <laughs> please. 
<laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you been going to a whole other era no, that we finna be mad about. So <laughs> no, like let's not do that today. You almost turned into Donald Trump right there. Hey, though. Like, <laughs> Like when you talk to a racist a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> they start revealing stuff. And then they try to backtrack on the stuff like that. Whoa, okay. whoa. Okay, that's not where I was meaning. Right. <laughs> well, you know them black people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. Let me back up a little bit. I didn't mean it like that. Right, you know. I kind of meant it like this. <laughs> you colors. Yeah. Okay. Boy, okay. Boy, it's like you said, monogamy can't work. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, it's 2024 era that we live in now, the 21st century. In the U.S., the way mentally we think, psychologically, the way we are groomed today is to either be um, self-sufficient as a female, like you said, a woman can do anything as a man can do. You know, go to work, do the nine to five, come home, breastfeed. You know, uh, uh, whatever the case may be, as a man can do. That's your go-to. Right? Um, but go work, breastfeed. Uh, <laughs> I love it. But what, what, I love uh, it. Uh, but aren't a lot of people living mono- uh, poly- polygamous lives? They just don't know about it. They don't tell the uh, other and person. I, and that's what I was going to get. You that. You were right like, about that one. They, not everybody in the relationship <laughs> knows that it would. So, 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 so mind. That's why I keep saying the psychological mindset. Right. If you want to live it, you can. And it, 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 but it's it's not the real deal. Like. In the Western, in the Eastern nations, they they're doing it for real, for real. Yeah, they but for, as for Americans, what do oh, we, we do? We're doing it leisurely. No, oh, we do things in. our way. We don't do things like everybody I'm else. That's saying, what makes America America. I'm just saying that we why remix it everything. Here. That's why it will not work here if you're gonna go with that Western mentality and try to take an Eastern philosophy and bring it over here. Unless you turn in this whole nation into a oh, Islamic nation. So what's democracy? Or a, or, or a Hebrew nation. So what's oh, democracy? It, huh? What's democracy? That's from um, it, uh, it, uh, uh, Rome. And it doesn't work? It, it's not the same way it was over there. Exactly. That's my point. We take things. We remix it. Like uh-huh. Exactly. But what I said is, it's not the same as what they're, like, where, where it started and how it's being done there. That's exactly my we point. Can't, we can't think of it the same way over here. That's exactly my point. So, so if me, we take a, a, a Eastern ideal or ideology... And we remix it to make it our own, yeah. but it's based in traditions that's based that are non-Western. We have a track record of things working. It now, now, now we can't take something that that other people have done and then literally try to mimic it the exact same way mm-hmm. because we're not of the same type of people. So it's not going to work. It's not, it's but the not, second we take something that they did and make it our own, right. we have our own way of doing things. No, but listen, Islam is Islam. Christendom is Christendom. Uh, J- 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 Judaism is Judaism. Hebrew Israelites are living under the Judaic law. A lot of these are uh, from back in the days when you read these biblical stories that were doing it yeah. naturally. Right? Yeah. It's totally different. Which means we the remix. Way they, it. Right, but you just. Right <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm not saying that you're wrong, that I'm it's not different. It is my different. Point, my point of where I was going mm. uh-huh. is the way Islam is run over there in some Middle Eastern countries. Uh-huh. Sunni, Wahhabi, Shiites. Right. right. Does do, that they make they their it. polyamorous relationships better? No, I'm saying they're they're the ones who are Islamic here in Sunni and, and Judaic. I mean Judaic. Sunni or Wahhabi or Shiites. They're doing the same thing here in the US. They're pri- they just live here in the US, that's all. But certain organizations like the Nation of Islam is a Islamic group of people, right? But they don't they don't poly, they don't practice poly um, what we call it um, but, uh, polygamy. They don't practice it the same way certain nations are practicing it in the Eastern world as well. Yeah. So, but in America, you still practice. They, they're still practicing their Eastern traditions. They just live here. That's what I'm trying to get at. They still speak Islam. Islam, Arabic. They still practice the Torah, not the Torah, the Holy Quran, as an Islamic person. But I'm talking about Americans who are born here, raised in the U.S. as an American, right? We have options to do these things. Oh, I want to be a polygamist, right? But it's, it's not legal here. It's though. not the way. Right? It's illegal. So you can't do it the way they practice it over there. Like you said, we remix it. Yes, but. There's still some Islamic 
Eastern born men and women who are practicing the way they do it traditionally back at home. Yeah, that's true. I believe well, that, well, to a certain extent. They just live here. What was the point? Mm -hmm. My point is. <laughs> I'm my, lost. My point is that we. It's. I don't think we should try to mimic polygamy here. Because it's not going to work the way we think it's going to work as Americans. The way we want it to work. Like what, what, what are like we basing it on? Or, 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 huh? What are we basing on what On we the wanna... tradition where it came from. There ain't no wars. There ain't no a drought of men. I mean, there is. What he's basically men. saying is, have your main bitches some side bitches. <laughs> <laughs> And right. don't let none no, of them no, find no, out. No, 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 no. That too, and it better have a body count over two. <laughs> no, say what this is. That's gonna be weird. <laughs> that's a traditional. That's a mm -mm. traditional um, uh, way of life that we're saying we could do over here, and we're cool with it because it fits some sort of uh, a capitalistic mind greed. You know, like you said, we 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 you know we want things the way we wanted to do it. You know, we go to work and come home and. You know, you want to, ten girls line up. You want to stick and, and screw. Just don't get married then. If that's the way. It don't you even have to be about sex though. A lot of it's not about sex. So that's like, where I was so like what the man was saying earlier. I'm a sh <laughs> the man was saying. Well, I am sure ain't about sex. They got dog blue no, chews and fucking honey packet, motherfuckers. Y'all need to put that shit down. Leave that sex low, man. We too old for that. Responsibility. The sex will be extra because you got. You know, several women to pick from, but you you have to also look at the responsibility behind it. You right. Know, you so know. that's what I'm saying. Why are we doing it here? For what? Why are you For marrying the, ten girls and you got ten different houses? You got to deal, like you said, all this. Headache. If you're doing it that way, but that's the great American thing. You could remix it to be mm -hmm. not that way. Yeah. You can put all ten of them in one house. It don't even have to be it ten. Don't sense, it it don't. It could be it three could of be them. Three. So it could be two. The three, right. It could be two. The two, three is two. Two is too much and three is too much in one house. All right? Why? In this Western world, they're not, they're not gonna get along for that. You don't know that. If you get the right people with the right, right mentality, it will. Have to get, they have to but be what, on the same. But why are we doing it here for? Why? Why? why are we I doing just told it? you for Wait. economic benefit of your household, for the social well-being of raising for kids. How long? Until yeah. it's over it's with. Until the effort. kids are gone. Until you're in the ground. Until you're freaking dirt nap. Like, oh, I mean, what do you mean for how long? You, you feel like yeah, a phase see, if you're talking about a phase thing, then you're already right. doomed to begin right. with. Right. So, but if everybody buys in and says, this is right. our lifestyle until we're done, right. then they, it they can spend. go on forever. Unless, mm -hmm. that, unless you're providing something to these women, like a business, you know, stability. You see, you see you that's, stability. that's where they're you're providing a lot. Because that's, that's what they're doing over there. I was having okay. a discussion with somebody yesterday. With okay. That. It's devil advocate time. It's devil advocate time. All right, so now I'm going to flip it, all right? And I'm going to jump on the side of the tracks with Michelle K on this one. All right, y'all ready for this? All right. Hit me. Polygamy, if you are one of the brother husbands, mm -hmm. could you handle it? Or if you can't, do you think it's something that could be handled in whatever mindset, in America or anywhere else? Brother, husband, what do you, what's that? If a you, sister wife is the yeah. term oh, of, you brother, you oh, so oh, you be a brother a husband. Put me in reverse with a woman. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I woman is, it's oh, one woman and multiple men. I thought you were about like the brother-in-law of one of the, of gangbang relationships. Nah, I would have said, bro. <laughs> 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 a gangbang gang relationship. The <laughs> gangbang relationship. Well, the same thing, the same mentality that you guys were thinking for men being the one guy, mm -hmm. the same thing as the woman being and she doesn't even, she can be the head, or she could just be just the one woman, and there could be a man that's a head. But you just happen to be one of the husbands that she's married to. So I'll be like that in, uh, what do you call it, coming to America, whatever you like. I, I mean, if that's the way you see it, but. I know you would like can, that. Can you, can you get down with that, Donnell? Yeah, you get in that mm -hmm. kitchen and cook. You know? Hold on, hold on. Oh, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, they sidebarred on me. The, the reverse. Okay. Could you be in that type of relationship or could you see that as something that could work? <laughs> Think Absolutely about it. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would only have to work the other way. Wow. It would only have to work the other way. That's why I took the... Man, y'all be 
Y'all are killing me. Sit down, man. The camera can't see you, knucklehead. Nobody want to look at your pelvic region. I'm playing around. Man, but, but why would it be like that? But why do you feel like that? All right. <laughs> you about to lay down the laws. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Law number one. How many men we talking? <laughs> well, the same think, amount that y'all were saying for the women. Two or three. Hold on, hold on. What were they jumping to before? Five, five or six, and ten. right? They about That's five what they kept saying. All right, let's. All right, let's throw on a, let's let's lowball this number. <laughs> no, let's, let's see. Let's you, see what they they like, see what you see what they do with Sean Payne? You see what they do? Hold on, hold on. I can't handle it. Let's lowball. Let's make it two dudes. I can make it more. I mean, what I'm trying to get at is still going to be the same. It might get worse. See, see, Lasan, that's funny. For your own ego? Right. That's what it is. It's, right. It gotta three. be the ego at that point. Three. No, no, no. Three. For you. For some... <laughs> it's me. It's, and it's two other guys. <laughs> we had a hard day at work. <laughs> right. Like, you know what, man? And, and we both, and we, all three of us are driving. I'm driving on 85. The next man driving on 20. The other guy driving on 75. 75. And we thinking about the same thing. <laughs> I did something when I get on. <laughs> I need some pussy. Okay. We all get dead in that door. We all looking for some pussy. What you doing? I'm going to have to do my job. You giving I, us all pussy. Hell yeah. I'm yeah. first. He's second. Then other one hey, third. Who, you doing you that? It be three, two, one, one, two, and three, then, two, three, four. Fall back it could be and one and two. And then it doesn't matter. You, because you and the other dude could go at it. Right. And then you fall back uh. <laughs> Hey, it worked for Diddy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, because, well, so I it was fucking wait. Diddy. So, it was fucking Diddy. You slipped that in. It was so, oh. He sure oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you ready for that? You ready to get plowed so down? So, so that goes oh, yeah, back yeah. to the misandry that I was talking about. That misogyny and the misogyny oh, no. being against men. It gotta be the it, it no. really was made by men having multiple women. But, but, but see, them. that's so racist. That, okay, yeah, y'all okay. Was this equal no. opportunity. But it's okay, give it to him. Oh, give I it to him. Okay, you're like right. You're right. You're right. A, it it was like made okay, it was made by men for men. But that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about its origins. We're talking about how it is now it if it work. can be flipped. It ain't gonna work now. But we're you still said, men. We well, still freaking have the, the, the energy uh, and the the, 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 the the characteristics, right? And the hormones of men. Do you you still have the you still have the energy and the characteristics of the men that created those those rules and guidelines for things? We so you can that. you can still rock and roll with three hundred cocky minds today? That's something different that we're talking about. Mm. That's the very same thing we're no, talking we, about. Yeah, but we're talking about you're talking about the excess versus small amount versus it's still well, men. You said that you had the same. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be a mm. hundred or a thousand like the, the the Bible says. A thousand. You say two. Huh? Two. Yeah. I still promote. <laughs> <laughs> not in the West, though. It ain't going to work here. We'll Yo, see. Donnell, the, the face over there, brother. What I you know, got? Because it's you? like, my, my, we got to go back it, to it, you. It, it, it's, so, it's cool, right? I'm. I'm not going to get you banned from you. No, no uh, like absolutely. Bro, you right. watch this show, you already know. <laughs> you already know the shit we're talking about here. Yeah. My dick stays the same size no matter how many women I put my dick into, right? Mm -hmm. You pussy that's don't stay the same size every dick that goes in. So if you got a motherfucker mm -hmm. who's this big, mm -hmm. like, so here we no. Go. See, now that's like, ego, though. I have the because ability as a man to sleep with multiple women. I'm not saying this is good or bad, but what I'm saying, like, the chemistry of your body changes right. see, the more exactly. that goes inside you. But it's, it's, right? it's but it also see, falls so, back on it. But, so, but first, same, of all, same first, same all, first of all, first of all, wait, I get what you're saying. You know but oxytocin? some people don't yeah. want no loose That's shit. So as a female, if they taking care of their body, they shit don't no, matter how about bad oxytocin. somebody go in them. They shit gon' if it if you have yeah, if you hormones. take care of your body, your body gonna bounce back. No, but it's just not gonna. And hold on, hold on, hold on. What if you the biggest dude? I feel sorry for the mother motherfuckers. Well, yeah, but still. But what if that's the case? And then they like... Well, they gonna have to clean up. They gonna have to back clean up. So, that's what I'm Exactly. So then, but now, is there a problem with you doing it? No, nah, because you know you dicking them down. Because you, you the front runner. Right. Yeah. You the one that's you banging the headboard on the wall. Yeah. And the others ain't. So, can you be in that situation? 
I could be in that situation. Well, there we go. So we got one convert. Now what we got? Now we gonna work on you. Now we gonna work on you. You say you ain't doing it. Like he got that number two shit. So come on. Oh but gosh. It, it doesn't even matter though because it's, it's not. I don't want to be in a house with a bunch of dudes with one chick. That sounds like some, you know, like I don't want to say that guy's name on this. Uh, that sounds like some sort of, you know, I, y'all killing running the train. Me. Y'all like, killing I mean, me with this this, train this, thing, this female man. and male stuff because nah, it, it, it shouldn't but, be like that. I think <laughs> since, no matter where this conversation is going, it's all leading down who's fucking who, right? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we all fucking everybody, so, so it's like because I just, don't see the, I don't see, I don't see. You just put boundaries on it. You put boundaries Let's on it and stuff like that. Why you having ten guys? They put an ego on. I didn't, first of all, I never said ten guys. Y'all <laughs> the one who throwing out two. them heavy numbers. Y'all did throw out ten women. Only thing why? I said why? Two. As a female, why? Are you because two they in your house? Because both of them can give me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's <laughs> not about the what? sex. It's not about the I sex. It's that. just the security, the stability. They one guy can't do that for you. They Sometimes can, they can, but they don't oh, have. You mean in today's world, with this. Well, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about modern day situations right. with polygamy and monogamy. What's these they can. metrosexual dudes? You want to marry a metrosexual guy? <laughs> I want Suppose he's the one that got the bread. Like I want. Suppose he's a metrosexual dude that's worth twelve million. Come on, girl, First of all, I'm very independent, so I don't need all that. I just need you to be above what I bring to the table, and we can meet in the middle. So I'm not like that at all. So that's not gonna work for me. So I just need somebody you can hold your own and you are confident of who you are and you can stand on your, I'm good with that. But don't come at me with this little, you know, oh yeah, you can't fool with it. That's, that's, y'all, what makes y'all think y'all can do what you want to do and we have to have stipulations on what we do. We have to have boundaries. Y'all don't, y'all, oh, it's this. If y'all don't do it like this, it's this way. Why? Why? Just tell me why. Men is supposed to. <laughs> That's not the way to answer that. Society. We we are the ones, the matriarchs. I'm excuse me, the patriarchs are the ones who put order. But in you the can't house. even lead. Some of them can't even lead to do that. That's today. Listen, that's we're men. talking about today. Right. And, and listen, not every you, you can't. You think that's the majority of men? No. Yes. I mean, it's yes. it's, 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 yes. it's somewhere really? because yes. they're not even. Man, these. Do you think the majority of today's men are able to lead? Wow. Based on what? At, what have you seen that gives you any evidence that today's men are capable of leading? So, Outside of Generation so, X, what, what do you see? That's actually interesting that you bring that up. That's why we got we to gotta talk about this. Because if we're talking about... the So now, you've got a, a bunch of male egos in the house. Mm-hmm. Who's the king bear in right. the house? Right. It got to be the Who? dominant one. You have to be Who? that one that nothing uh, else would intimidate you to be that I believe there's no the contestation. Right, like... You ain't even got to ask B. You ain't even got to ask B. That's a whole other level. That's what I'm trying to say. We have an instinct of... Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. our laughs> I am grade A alpha well, toxic well, masculinity. So I will say it regardless. Right. There is... There is no man that will ever get me to say, See, oh, wanna, somebody else is. Wanna, now, I I, rep, I I respect other men, but if you if it boils down to soup the nuts, I'm putting myself above every man in every situation or every be. day of the block. But you want to cater to But that's not what we're talking about. So I don't want to get to fight with my people. I'm a cater to <laughs> It sounds like you want to cater to 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 the misandry of men. Like you want to... Hold on. Now, now here's 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 no. what we just started doing. You see, you guys turned around and y'all started making it all about Michelle K. And I was the one who was playing devil's advocate. So y'all y'all forgot. Y'all I, forgot. Well, she was going. She was she was your cheerleader for a minute. She's I like, was because yeah, I need one to do the dishes. I need one to do the. Put well, up, if you remember how it started I after I after I after I played I, devil's advocate, y'all went straight into the numbers and started asking her about the numbers. Remember the 10 versus yeah, 2? Like 10. Yeah, you and remember? I I That's where it went. That. That's where it went. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but let me just give you my perspective. So I can take some of the show, some some of the weight off. It's okay. And, and she can I handle her own. Okay. She can handle her own. So I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to be knight in shining armor. I just want something to smoke too. So that, that's all. <laughs> Y'all know me. That, that's what I do. So here's where, yeah, you come with it. So here's the thing. For me, I could be a brother husband. 
I absolutely could be. And here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Because I see the benefit of being in a situation or a relationship where there could be men in a relationship that bring something that to the table that I'm either not capable of doing or I don't want to do. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. If, if for instance, I know my way around a car a little bit, but I am no A certified mechanic. And that big ass yacht sitting outside costs a lot of fucking money to fix. Now, if we bring in somebody to the crib who's like, oh, I know how to fix G, I work on those all the day. Bruh, man, what we gotta do to get this brother in the house if this is what it's gonna be? Because if I can keep my baby running top ship shape, that benefits me too. Right. It's not just about who's dicking down whoever right. is my it's sexual partner. Sex. I'm not. benefiting too. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I go to work and I bust my ass, when that mortgage comes due, mm -hmm. it's not just my check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like there's three, four, five, whatever other brothers that's putting in on this mortgage. Mm -hmm. So now we all living good. We all eating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't cook. I know how to cook, but I don't cook. But suppose she gets a freaking uh, five diamond or five star chef up in the crib. What? Mm. Nigga, you don't think I like my my right. my, my my lobster flipped a, a certain way? <laughs> I guess. And I could come home and this table. nigga got everything set right? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's not just her benefiting from some dicky. Mm -mm. Like, if that's what, what makes her happy, so be it. And if my part is whatever my part is, if I bring the. The, the computer knowledge or the IT or whatever I bring to it, then I bring that part. But then everything else that the other dudes bring, I benefit too. Like they're not keeping me out of it. I mean, we all brother husbands up in this bitch. Mm -hmm. Like if their computer goes down, they're gonna be like, yo bear, um, my computer stopped working. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, let me take a look at it, bro. Let me see what you got going on. It's a Nigga, how you get this virus again? Well, it, it'll, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, what are you willing to sacrifice? Because I like that. It's a unity. You have okay, to form a unity. That's what I'm saying. What are you willing to sacrifice for the okay. greater good of our situation? Right, right. And see, that's that's the thing. That's me at 47. Mm -hmm. Now, me at 25, you couldn't. Uh, I couldn't have this conversation. I couldn't. Because I had too much of that bravado and mm -hmm. I thought with this head down here. And, and I would have been the same think. way. Y'all think y'all so territorial. But I'm not I'm not on that level no more. Yeah, I I still enjoy sex and I still do my thing, but it's not about that anymore. You know, I could get it when I get it and it's great. But if like that doesn't run my day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if if that doesn't go down as frequent as it did when I was in my twenties, I got other shit that I can do. You know what I'm saying? So you would do this as an adult, not as a young man. Absolutely. So you, you're saying the next generation that's coming up now, right now, that's 20s and you know, and hitting their 30s, whatever, or between 19 and 30. Okay. You're promoting for that next generation across the board to uh, to think about being brotherhood. Uh, we call it. Well, I don't believe in black and white. I think there's gray areas on a lot of things. So if that's what they want to do, I'm not going to put them down and say don't do it because it won't work. Right. I'm mean, like, if you decide to do it. This is Make sure you yep. get the right people in your yep. group. Yep. Because if you get one bad mm -hmm. egg in that group, one. or one bad apple, the whole bunch is fucked. It's not going to work. It's not. You get one one that has a inkling of jealousy or an inkling mm -hmm. of a problem, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. It's so not. Think, Even if they say they're not. Right. If they got it in them to be like, mm -hmm. Oh man, nah, he, doing he, this he really yeah, fucking up her head on that. Mm -hmm. Like she was yelling. If that creeps in at all, it's over. It's doomed. Mm -hmm. But if, if if you get a, a full group that's like, you know what, I can handle that. I'm good. Mm -hmm. And y'all remember, you know, I was a car carrying member of Swingers Clubs when I was <laughs> younger. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so when I go up in the spot, I would see the, the, the gentleman in there handing off their wives and then sit down and hold their wives' hand while somebody was destroying it. Mm -hmm. So there are people now. I don't know if they had those type of they had open relationships, but I don't know if they were polyamorous. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that mentality's out there where people can get beyond the sexual part, mm -hmm. where it's just like you know what I love her, and even if I'm enough, but if I'm not and she just wants some strange, I can support my wife by holding her hand and 
I can enjoy watching somebody else beat it up. <laughs> It, it, it sounds absolutely <laughs> insane. It does. And again, like I said, I didn't say I was holding hands. I said I was witnessing this. I might have been a partaking on the other side of this no, as well. Right. Like, bro, are you sure bro, this? Yeah. Is the whole and thing. that's how it be. So, but I'm, saying, I'm just saying, there's mentalities that get beyond the sexual gratification. Said, right, but in general, you're saying that that's what you would teach. The next generation. I won't like, be teaching not just teach anybody. Them, but saying, like across the board, you think that's the standard that would be? Like I said, there's no black and white to me. I, I wouldn't just come out and say this is the way. Right. Do it like this. Right. I would let them decide what they want to do. Mm -hmm. But I mean, and then if that that's what they want to do, I'd support it. I'd be like, all right, if that's what you want to do, I'm I'm asking, do it. Would you think that's helpful for society? I think it can work in society. I think it can work. But no, not, not that it can't work. I'm saying. You think no, I said I think it can work. Help for society. If I think it can develop. work, then yes, I think it would be helpful for society. So you think it, it won't be? Because I, I'm a true believer in what everybody said. It takes a village. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I'm a true believer in that. I, I do believe it. And in these days, in this society, especially with these supercomputers that we run around with, how else are you going to get us? How else are you going to get a village? How else? Because neighbors don't talk to neighbors no more. No, no, no. Everything's in this. Everybody you talk to is in your your supercomputer that you have on the side of your face. You can go into a group, a room full of people, and everybody in that room will have a device in their hand on their face. And nobody will be saying shit to nobody in oh, that yeah, room. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how else are you going to get a village? I got you. So, so I believe it could work. Just ask you. Just ask you. So that's, that's just me. <laughs> I, I just, so I could be a brother what you husband. you got to say? Yeah. Think about how this cascades aspects <laughs> of life. Follow, uh -huh. follow me here. Uh -huh. okay. Are we with you? So, do you think polyamorous marriages, relationship, do you think that would cut down on cheating? Mm. Mm. On both sides. That's a good question. On both sides. Because you could have all the women or the men you want, and it might be something that attracts you and you might want to add that to the collection so i don't know that's when the numbers come in you might want to start getting to four five six different but to me i think that's going to the extreme you know to be if if i if i'm going to do it i'm only going to limit to two people because two people should be sufficient enough to offset the other when you talk about four or five six different dudes i don't know i think we're looking for more than just you know whatever that stability, sure. something that's not happening to me when you have that many because that is a lot to deal with when you have that many people and that many personalities in a household. But um, sometimes it could work. But yeah. I think when it gets over three or four or five people, that that could cause an issue. Okay. But you have to once again, you have to determine who you're dealing with. If you get five or six strong women, that's like man, that ain't nothing to me. Or five, or six, it can work. So I, I, to me, um, the question is, you know, um, if it could work. It, 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 to me, it doesn't matter. I mean, without using the numbers, the quantity of your counterparts, mm -hmm. like for the man to the, how many women he has, or for a woman, how many men mm -hmm. she has in that, uh, that domain. I think it's like, I think like what she said, is, it's about the, are you attracted to this person you even have? in that circle. Like these people satisfy too. all of the looks, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the characters, personality, you know, that you're bringing into your, your polyamorous relationship. So if they all fit those qualities, then yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be like, oh, I need to bring some other chicken in. Right. I'm tired of this. Right. This, these girls. Then like, you're doing too much. Then I you think gotta it goes pick further. From the jump. Like mm -hmm. initially, she characterized everything I wanted in a woman mm -hmm. with these 10 personalities or these Ten characteristics. I got. I got three, and then this third, the second one, she, she captures all of these other oh. things that I like, and the third one captures everything that I like. <coughs> so you you shouldn't be able to run out <laughs> within your lifetime. Okay. Well, so then, where does that number stop? Does it? So if if we would introduce this to this Western society and, and make this law, mm -hmm. does there have to be a cap on how many bitches you can have in your house? I think. I think. Damn. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. Why gotta be Sign it into law. <laughs> no more than uh, seven bitches. Right, you know. <laughs> seven, 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 seven point three five bitches. How, how you, what you can handle. 
If you want that many people, then that's on you. Nobody should ever determine your number. You just got to figure out what that number is because if you out there doing eight, nine, ten women, you really have to sit back and think, what is your purpose? Why all those many women? You talking about, you can be bringing in 15, 16, 17 kids, Mm -hmm. more responsibility, more money going out. You got got one income and all those women, some working, some not. And that's what's going to happen. The government is going to come in and they're going to tax Yeah, something's going to happen because you're doing too much. It's going to be put into law. They're going to want to say, no, it's just too many. This guy here is 30 women and he's not paying his, you know. Right. Something's not going to get done because you, that's a lot of women. So you got to know what you can handle. Right. Well, shit, the government might, the government might love that shit. Yeah. yeah. More, more they might. Right. <laughs> but then, shit, that's, that's, then that's when you need to figure out your boundaries in your household. It's all about boundaries. Do you set the boundaries of what you want and what you can deal with and what you can handle? If you go past that, then I think that would be your fault. But we we going to get ready to get out of here. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, whatever you want to say, we read the comments. We definitely reply back. And, um, you know, definitely hit the hit that subscribe button because it helps us out. It definitely does. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to get ready to get out of here. Yes. We All right? To. We're going to get ready to get <laughs> out of here. He got a lot more to say. He sure do, boy. <laughs> we'll save it for the next episode. His, his gun only half. <laughs> Boy, he, ready. he is spinning like mm-hmm. We can start now I had a whole book yeah. oh, But ladies and gentlemen I've been King Bear In the building Michelle Kane The truth seeker mm. Special guest Darnell Next time I'm on I'm, I'm going to have a more creative name Right now it's just my name <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love it Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see y'all on the next one. Y'all be good. Peace.